All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to concatenate a list of items in a range based on some given criteria. So in this example, I've got a list of people, and I want to produce from that a list of the people where this column has yes in it. So all the, all the people that were invited. If I use a helper column, so and I do a formula like if invited equals yes, then give me the person and otherwise just return an empty string. And if I copy that down, then that's going to give me the, the list of people that are invited. And then I can do something over here like text join and maybe a comma as a delimiter. And then I'm going to want to ignore those two empty cells, so add true in there. <coughs> and then just reference my list of people. And if I hit enter, that's going to give me the list that I want with commas in between all the people. But we can avoid this helper column if we use an array formula. So if I do something like this, if I edit this to be if this range <coughs> equals yes, then and I'm just going to delete this. Then give me my person. Otherwise, just give me an empty string. That's not actually going to work because the if function is not an array function. So it's not going to return an this. It's not going to return that array that I want. But we can turn it into an array function that will return our list by using control shift and enter to enter this function. And that's gonna give me the result I want. And we're not actually using this helper column so the formula works without that. And that's how you can use or sorry conditionally concatenate a list of items based on some given condition using an array formula with the text join and if function.